Hello. In this video, we're going to be looking at the MT Cars data set that we did before in the native R language program, but this time in in the program R Studio to look at some to look at the summary statistics and then draw a box and whisker plot of the MT Cars data set which stands for Motor Trend Car Road Tests. I'll leave a link in the description so you can get the data set yourself and repeat all the same steps I'm doing. If this is going to be your first time uh, running RStudio and doing this with, data, with any data sets, you'll, you might need to do two things. The first is to set the working directory. I'm going to do this by pressing Control, Shift, and H. And you can see that it already has the data directory on the C drive selected, which is what I want. That's where I saved my mtcars.csv file to. And uh, you see how it says set WD and in parentheses and quotations it says C data you can type that all in to and not have to press control shift H the next thing to do is to attach your data set once you have your working directory set that's why I can just refer to it as MT cars. And I believe the primary reason you want to do that, I'm not too sure about this, I believe it lets you do the tab complete feature. Um, I'm gonna try that out real quick with the summary function. MT, yes, press tab, lets me put in MT cars. So here we get our summary statistics. It's just the quick breakdown of each field of data. So primarily we're looking at miles per gallon and we can and as I mentioned before in that previous video, we looked at the cylinders per the miles per gallon and the weight per the miles per gallon and we saw the same trend line. So here we're going to then look at our box plot of MT cars. And you see it comes up over on the right hand side, all nice and pretty. I'm going to drag it out, see if I get, here we go, some more names. It completely butchers the statistics a little bit. I don't know. You got to work with what you got. So I'll leave it like this for now because I want to get at the point this plot is completely useless to us. And I wanted to show that so that way you can, we might ask why. Each one of these different fields of data in this MT cars data set, they aren't the same. It's not like measuring the population from one city to the next city to the next city. And um, it's not like comparing numbers of the same size, like um, what, the euro to the dollar. If we were to put euros against dollars on box plots, we wouldn't have to do any um, fiddling behind the scenes with our, we can just put it in our default box plot program and go with it probably. So here we can't just throw the whole data set in the box and see it all in a box plot for one main reason. And that's because all the qualities between all the different fields of our data are so disparate and different that it just doesn't make a coherent picture with the data. So that's prob 
So that's not how you want to go about statistics and visualization or putting together diagrams. All these, all these fields over here, except for these two, they're they are just absolutely worthless. Um, if you care at all about visualization, it is offensive to the eye. I'm just kidding. But all you can see is the medians uh, on each one of these things, and maybe a couple little outliers bulging here and there, which is very nice. <laughs> Uh, very compact, so I like that uh, about this. So, other than these two fields, the rest of the things are worthless. You can get a better idea of what I'm saying by looking at um, the weight. I have... So, here you have more resolution to that one field. Um, and then let's even throw something kind of sim similar. And these don't make sense either. Another reason about that is the units are different. But like as I mentioned with the dollars and euros, Technically, they're not the same unit, but we understand them to be the same quality. Um, and so here we have numbers that are close together, but this still doesn't make sense, even though we can see it more clearly. However, our issues with scale are removed. And... I always like to say scale changes everything, which is a quote I came up with on my own before I found out that Napoleon had said something very parallel to it, of my thinking behind that uh, maxim, which is at some point number takes on a quality all its own. And if you can see what I mean that that box plot is completely useless you can see scale quality and numbers all at odds with each other uh, and that's the main reason I bring this video up so thank you for listening